Hello, good morning children. I welcome you to the math class. Are you ready with your book, pencil and eraser children? Yes, let's start our class. Children, do you remember you have learnt after number, before number and in between numbers? Do you remember that? Yes. After number. So, here, today we are going to learn a new concept that is adding the numbers by forward counting. Forward counting is nothing but writing the after number. Writing the after number. Let me give some example children. 8 after what do you get? It is 9. 10 after it is 11. 5 after it is 6. In the same way, we shall count 4 numbers or counting 4 or 5 numbers forward at a time. That is the new concept for you. Hello children. Today we will learn a new concept that is adding by counting forward. Adding by counting forward. Counting forward, you know that. Already you have learned how to count forward. Forward counting means, what is that? Forward. Forward. Means remember, that is after number. After number. Forward means what? You have to count after number. Now, let us take an example. Let's add 7 and 4. 7 and 4. What is that first? See here. What is the meaning of this? After 7, you have to count 4 numbers. After 7, you have to count how many numbers forward? 4 numbers. So, 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11. Is it clear? Then what is the answer you got? 7 plus 4 equal to 11. If we count 4 numbers forward after 7, we get 11. Did you understand children? Now, let us take one more example children. That is 6 plus 4. Here we will do forward counting. We shall add by forward counting. 6 plus 4. What is the meaning of this 6 plus 4? After 6, you have to count 4 numbers forward. 4 numbers forward. So, 6 after, what do you get? 6 after 7, 8, 9, 10. Here one more way. What is the answer you got last? It is 10. So you can write 6 plus 4 equal to 10. One more way. Since here the first number is 6. Now the second number is 4. So open 4 fingers. Open four fingers. Six after seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is the answer. Ten is your answer. So let us do the second sum. Eight plus four. Eight plus five. Eight plus five. Eight plus five. After eight, how many numbers you have to count forward? You have to count 5 numbers forward. So, take 5. This is the second method we will count. Open 5 fingers. First, first number is 8. Second number is 5. So, the second number, how, what is the number? Open that many fingers. So, open 5 fingers. Open 5 fingers. 8 after 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. So, 13 is your answer. 13 is your answer. Now, let us write here whether you get the same 13 as a 
as the answer or not, as the sum or not. So, 8 after 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. See here 13. Here also we got 13. Is it easy or not? What you have to do is open the second number. How, what is the second number? That many of that many fingers you have to open and count. It will be easy for you. Did you understand, children? Okay. Let us take some more examples of this kind. Let us take few more examples, children. We shall add by counting forward. First sum. 7 plus 4. First we shall add by stretching out fingers. First number is 7. The second number is 4. So 4. You have to stretch out 4 fingers. You have to stretch 4 fingers. So 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11. Write down 11 equal to 11. Now just write forward numbers. 7 after 8, 8 after 9, 9 after 10, 10 after 11. Did we get the same answer or not? The sum is same or not? Yes. Now let us take one more example. 15 plus 3. Now stretch out how many fingers? You have to stretch 3 fingers. So 15 after 16, 17, 18. So 18. 15 after 16, 17, 18. So, the answer is same or not? Yes, the sum is same. So, 15 plus 3 equal to 18. Did you understand children? Very good. Now, all of you open page number 32 children. Here we have a heading, count forward and add. 11 plus 5. 11 plus 5. So you have to count forward 5 numbers from 11. So 11 after 12, 12 after 13, 13 after 14, 14 after 15, 15 after 16. So circle this last number 16 and write 16 in the box. Did you understand? Yes. Now let's proceed for the second question. 13 plus 4. You have to count forward 4 numbers from 13. So 13 after 14, 14 after 15, 15 after 16, 16 after 17. So circle 17 and write 17 in the box. Write down neatly children. The number should not be written out of the box. It should be within the boxes. Now 9 plus 7. Now you have to count 7 numbers forward from 9. So 9 after 10. 10 after 11. 11 after 12. 12 after 13. 13 after 14. 14 after 15, 15 after 16. So circle 16 and write 16 in the box. So what is the sum you got? 9 plus 7 equal to 16. 9 plus 7 equal to 16. In this concept, we shall learn stretching out fingers to add the numbers or to count forward or to count forward here let us take an example that is 12 plus 3 now what is the second number we have here it is 3 now stretch out as many fingers as the second number that is 3 so 12 after 13 14 15 count the fingers 12 after 13, 14, 15. So 15 is your answer. When we add 12 plus 3, we get the sum as 15. 
Here are few worksheets. Take the help of your parents. Write down neatly in a rough book, children, and submit to me. For today, you learn eighth table, children. Whatever tables I mention to learn, I give you to learn. Learn them perfectly, children. Don't waste your time. Friends, before starting the video, please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Hello, friends. Today we will learn table of eight. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are sixteen. Eight threes are twenty-four. Eight fours are thirty-two. Eight fives are forty. Eight six are forty-eight. Eight sevens are fifty-six. Eight eights are sixty-four. Eight nines are seventy-two. Eight tens are eighty. Children for more interesting videos please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for listening. Have a fabulous day children.